Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is glue, food coloring, and soap. This is one incredible science experiment. What you need for this experiment is glue, food coloring, dish soap, paper plate, a pipette, or an eyedropper. See the description for more information. And remember to subscribe to my channel so you get updated on my new videos every week. To set up this experiment, take your paper plate, pour glue onto the paper plate as much as you desire. Um, and then you're going to grab the plate and kind of move it around so it kind of evenly, thinly spreads out. It doesn't have to be completely thin, but you don't want to waste a lot. And so just make sure you have enough space. Um, you don't need this much if you're not going to do multiple drops of food coloring. But I'm going to do multiple drops, so I'm spinning it around, kind of getting an even layer going there. And then I'm going to add the different food coloring colors. And then you take your pipette and pull some so dish soap into it and put one drop of dish soap um, onto each color of drop that you put into the glue. And this is where the fireworks really start to begin because it does something kind of like with the milk experiment when you put uh, food coloring and dish soap. But this one goes a bit farther as it makes these really cool designs as it breaks the food coloring down. And you can see when it starts to hit other colors, it doesn't invade over it. It kind of just goes around it, which is I think is pretty incredible. And so every time you do this, it's like a masterpiece. You're going to get a different design, a really cool design. It's not going to last forever, so make sure you take a picture of it. Um, it will blend out at the end. So this was the first design. I've got a couple other different, different designs I'm going to show you, and then you can see how those turned out also. So this one is one blue dot and one red dot, and I'm going to put my drop of soap onto each one and then watch them take off from there. Um, and I thought it was going to uh, combine and make into a purple, but you can see right when it hits each other, they kind of branch off. But when you only have a couple colors, unlike the last time I did it, where I had multiple different drops, it actually becomes a bigger design. So this is where, when you lay your glue down, how much glue do you want on how big a design you want? Um, I find it, find it interesting how the red kind of just like got shot out, like the blue hit it, and it started pushing it out because the lines don't go out as even um, on the red side. It kind of got pushed out by the blue, which is pretty incredible. I'll go ahead and show you the next one. This time I have two dots. I put a yellow first and a red right on top of the yellow to see maybe it would intermix with each other. And you got these. It, by doing that, you saw how those reds kind of exploded outside of the circle of the red. It kind of went red and then yellow and then a little bit more red, and then the yellow kind of intermixed. So putting one drop of yellow first and then a red uh, drop on top of it gave me this really cool effect. It kind of like, almost looks like a flower uh, overall. But um, once again, each time a different design, it's incredible. This time I have a green dot and a yellow dot, and then I put just some soap in the middle, which it should stop the overall color, which it is. Look at that. It's stopping the green, it's kind of going around it, the yellow's going around it, so you can even put drops of soap within the design to actually create a different circle and stuff, which is great. I love how these um, are just coming together. Um, this is probably one of my favorite experiments I've done all time. I have many favorite experiments, but this one keeps getting more fun as I think of different designs to do. I have a couple more to show you, and I uh, hope you enjoy these. So this one's a blue dot with a red dot on top of it, and then I put my one drop of soap on it. And you can see, once again, by having the two dots, you kind of get that secondary explosion <laughs> coming from the sides. Uh, the right side is even a little bit more detailed, so you can see the blue coming out. So you could tell that was the first drop because it kind of does that lighter blue uh, shootout. And then the, this one does kind of intermix a little bit. You are getting a little bit more purple where we didn't see that in the other ones. Um, so this is pretty pretty cool. Um, I didn't use as much so uh, um, I didn't use as much glue this time, so therefore it's hitting the edges a lot quicker. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. This is has to be one of my top five. Um, if you did, please remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as I post a new experiment every week. Thanks for watching. We have videos right there and right there and right there and right there and I'm pointing at the videos. Ugh. 
Well, we have like those videos over here and those videos over there. Okay, fine, hang up.